California's historic drought has led to mandatory statewide water restrictions. RPV Mayor Jim Knight talked with Liz Brown Swanson about the restrictions and the city's plans to reduce water use. The governor has imposed what are being called mandatory water restrictions. It's affecting everybody in the state. So talk about water conservation efforts and what we need to know and do. Okay, well, maybe it would be helpful to understand what's, what's coming down from, from the governor. Um, he's made a general statement that applies to the entire state. Um, in reality, the, the burden of the water conservation is being put upon 20% of the water users, 80% of the agricultural. California does not have a, um, any re restriction and, and gr uh, groundwater well uh, extraction, and we're the only state that doesn't have that, so that's, that's another topic. But anyway, within the 20% of the water users, the conservation measures are being put on. Um, that's a general statement for the entire state. Um, I just read the other day that the uh, Metropolitan Water District is going to put a 15% reduction in their supply to our water supply. Would you say the bottom line is so uh, consumers are going to expect to see their water bills start to go up? Oh yeah, I, th I think what's the, when we talk about the trickle down effect, at some point uh, if Cal, Cal Water has less to distribute, uh, they're going to have to um, have the, the consumers conserve and one way to do that is, is to have different tiers. They have the different tiers and they may adjust those tiers such that your water bill may go up. We definitely need to start reducing our water yes. use in on the peninsula. That's what residents mm -hmm. need to understand. And you as a city and the need, is also working on plans could come up with a conservation plan. Talk about what the city is going to be trying to do. Yes, the city actually has reduced their overall water consumption by 20 percent last year. Um, so and they're continuing to find ways they can do it in the future. Uh, we're analyzing uh, the different types of grasses we have in our parks. Some, some grasses are called dormant, some are non-dormant. So they'll separate those out. The dormant ones, they can stop watering that, are not, that aren't going to be dormant. Um, so they're going to kind of figure all that out. Uh, we're going to look at our facilities and see if we can have water conservation in the facilities we have. Um, we currently have what's called grass cycling. It's, it's a mulching process. and uh, that helps retain moisture because the, the grass clippings are kept there. It's kind of like a mulch. It keeps the water in. It has a lot of other benefits, too. We don't uh, have to haul away a bunch of grass and, and, and lower carbon footprint and, uh, and, and fewer staff that has to attend that. Um, and so we have a, a multitude of different types of uh, conservation uh, measures we're, we're going forth with. The medians, uh, we're trying to, you know, we're, we have started to put drought-tolerant plants in the medians the highway medians, um, and so we're continuing along with those lines. So that we have a multitude of things we're approaching to continue to conserve. Mm -hmm.